Hi, this is Joe, and today I'll be reviewing the Rock Pals 500 watt portable power station right here. Uh, it's a better, better picture of it. That's the packaging. It came very well packaged. It comes with a portable, uh, I'm sorry, it comes with a user guide, which is really nice. It's, uh, it's really well laid out, shows all the specifications, uh, lots of good tips. There's a quick start guide I want to show as well. Uh, there's some safety precautions and, of course, an extended warranty card. Inside the package, you get the uh, a portable DC charger, which you just plug in. And it comes also with a car charger, so you can charge it from your car. I'm going to shift to the unit now. The unit is right here, and it's, it's a big size unit. There's nothing small about this, um, and it's built really sturdy. Uh, let me show you some more uh, detail on the unit. So right here on the unit, um, we have our power meter with our input and output. So as you charge it, the input actually shows up on the, uh, which is kind of neat. It's got an output, uh, you know, as power is getting drawn, um, you can do all of these loads can be pulled, uh, plugged in simultaneously, uh, which is really nice. And so uh, we have some covers over our two AC ports. It's a uh, one of the things that's really nice about this unit is that it has 750 watts peak power, which is that surge power, which is really helpful to have for some of those electronics um, and, and some of those possible some motor loads that may have a surge when you start them up. Uh, you can hook up. So when you plug it in, you plug the DC power into here, it charges up at about 70, 68 to 70 watts. Uh, you can also hook up solar panels to it if you want to plug it in. When you're uh, out in the field, you got your car charger port, again, with a nice gasketed cover to protect that. I really like that about this. Then there's some DC outputs. Important to note, these are regulated output ports, so as the current goes up, the voltage stays constant. Um, that's a really nice feature about this. There's different buttons here, so as you push and turn them on, it will then activate the different, the different loads once they're connected. We have some USB output ports. We have a QC 3.0 port and we have a 45 watt USB-C PD or power delivery port, which is really cool. So one of the things I really like about this unit is that you can charge it with the included DC charger or you can buy a, a USB-C PD charger and plug it at the same time. Um, and I think for those of you who want to plug it in and do it faster, that might be a better way to go about doing this because this takes, this takes about... Mm, seven and a half to eight hours maybe to charge fully it's it's a considerable um it's a considerable time to charge it and so i want to show you some of the things uh i've been able to plug in on this um let's see how well we can see this here one of the main reasons i i wanted to get this was for my cpap and, and so when we go when i go camping at night i can uh bring my cpap and so i was curious about this how how this would do and so let me plug it in here and show you how it does. Um, let's also show you how it works. So as I turn this on, let me go. It's coming. Here's my CPAP. My hose is going on and you can see the power draw. So this is gonna shut off after a while uh, due to the uh, lack of pressure, but I'll do it again. You can see how the, the, the watt, the output surges. Um, and so I plugged this in, I charged the, I charged the rock pals up to hundred percent and I plugged in my CPAP with my humidifier arm, um, which, which, uh, really adds a lot of power draw. And I slept eight hours with this and it went from hundred percent power down to 20% power. So I know, uh, if I go camping, I can take my CPAP, I can use the humidifier function. Um, with the included CPAP uh, DC charger, I didn't have to buy a special charger, that got me a full eight hours of sleep and went down to 20% power. So it's basically 10% for every hour. Um, so <clears throat> obviously, if I didn't turn the humidifier on, it would go a lot longer. And so if you're going for multiple days, don't turn on your humidifier. But I know I at least got one day with this. A um, couple of the other things about this, uh, you know, obviously this is ideal for camping and outdoors. Uh, we're getting ready for the summer here. So a lot of people 
this is really good for hobby enthusiasts, which I didn't really think, think about until I started thinking about all the applications for this. Um, here I have a Traxxas Easy Peak Plus, and I can go ahead and I take a three cell uh, battery, I can plug this in, no problem. This is, uh, this is a piece of cake here. Let me charge it up, and I can do a four amp charge, and I can turn it on. You can see the, you'll see the power start to go on the, where are we up to? We're up to seven watts. There we go, now we're at 68 watts. And so as the power goes on, you'll hear, I don't know if you can hear the fan from this, but the fan will start coming on. But you could be in the field with your RC trucks, whatever, your drones, and you can totally plug in a three cell battery into one of these. You can even plug a six strip into here and get more until this power goes up to 500 watts. Um, and you can just keep recharging your uh, batteries in the field as you're using them, which is like really fantastic for those hobbyists out there. Um, let me unplug this. Of course, I got my laptop. I plugged in my laptop. That doesn't draw much power at all. Again, it's 12.3 pounds, so it's heavy. Um, it's a heavy unit. There's nothing shy about this, but the 500 watt is a really good range because uh, both of these are five, up to 500 watts, like I said, 750, uh, 750 watts peak. Um, probably the nicest thing about this, which people aren't thinking about, is that it's got pure, uh, pure sine wave technology. And what does that mean? Well, all of our, what it does is there's a basically, uh, long story short, is it's the, the, the quality of the AC output signal. Let's just keep it real simple. And so this has a very high quality AC output signal. And so all of our sensitive electronics, which is pretty much everything you'd be plugging in to a unit like this requires that clean power. You've probably heard of clean power. So uh, I haven't seen that in a lot of other brands and I'm, I'm skeptical about that. But when I'm plugging in something like an $800 CPAP, I wanna make sure that it's not gonna ruin my CPAP because um, it, it doesn't, it puts out dirty power. And so, like I said, I had this all night long. I took it from 100% to 20% with the humidifier. So I got one solid day. Um, it did take me from about 9 a.m. to 2.30, p.m. to recharge this back to 100%. Now that was only with this one DC wall charger. It was not with the wall charger plus the, the uh, USB-C PD. Um, couple things I'd like to see improved on this unit. Obviously, I was I was kind of a not not feeling the handle uh, initially. I wanted kind of a fold down handle to minimize space, but this unit's so large and bulky. It's I mean it's not it's twelve point three pounds, so it's a little bit over than lifting around a, a ten pound dumbbell. Um, but after using it, I, I kind of like the, the the more rugged, bigger handle because a fold down one. You know wh what's going to happen with the fold down one? It's going to fall down and it's going to break right where it attaches those two points, those weaker points. So I'm actually kind of glad they beefed up the handle. Uh, I wasn't initially uh, liking that design, but after carrying it around and moving it, plus it's got these cool little notches right here. Your fingers just fit right in there. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to, to uh, carry around. It's got some fans on the sides, which is really cool. The fans. Um, obviously pass the heat the, the get the heat through um it uh it's very quiet it's a really quiet unit it's not loud at all um trying to think of some other things i really liked about this unit i do wish i do wish i'd see some rubber where this black is instead of plastic i'd like to see some maybe some rubber um you know obviously they discourage dropping it but life happens and sometimes things get dropped. It does have nice rubber feet on the bottom, which will hold it in place. This is not moving at all. Uh, that's really good. Um, trying to think, what else could I like to see about this? I think the, uh, I initially was thinking maybe some GF, GFCI outlets on this, but the problem with that is when uh, electronics and stuff will surge, uh, it might, you might get a false trip. And so we don't wanna make the tripping any worse than uh, it's not. I have plugged in larger loads than 500 watts. Um, the manufacturer advises you to check the wattage before you plug it in. I did look at the higher wattage loads and um, what, what happens with this is it just, it, it surges, you'll see this go well past 500 watts output and it just shuts down. And so that's not a big deal at all because then you just turn it off, restart it and plug it, plug a different load back in. 
Um, so there's multiple, you know, you're not supposed to do that, but if it happens, you're not gonna ruin your machine. It's just gonna cut power to it. So it's not just a, a, a good device. It's a, it's a sensitive device that is well built. It's built that, you know, mistakes happen and uh, people are gonna overload this. Uh, you know, it's only got two outlets, but feel free to plug in a six strip. You can probably, if I went camping with this, I'd plug this in with a six outlet power strip and everyone can plug in their stuff. You could put it under the table, you could put it wherever, but you know, as it being a sensitive electronics, you gotta be really careful with this and to leave it out in the heat, the humidity, um, you don't want it to get actually rained on. So you'll be very careful with that. Uh, another feature, which I'd like to see uh, on this, is uh, a removable battery. I think if we could, uh, if there could be a way to replace this battery or remove it, or if I could buy an extra battery and pop in an extra battery and charge it, that way it could go camping with two of these and two of the batteries uh, in case I don't have the, uh, get enough sunlight. Let's say you're, you're trying to charge it solar and it's, over, it's a cloudy day, or you don't, you're, you don't, you know, you don't wanna do it from your car because you, you might be concerned that you might run down your car battery. So, um, that is something I'd like to see is a removable battery, uh, not just in case the one in here goes wrong, but also for recycling and for getting uh, extra batteries. So I think that's an improvement. The other thing which I would really like to see um, in a later edition, hopefully, would be, so when you plug something in and it says 50 watts, 60 watts, whatever, should mention that this is a 505, I believe it's a 505 watt hour, somewhere right around there. So what does a 505 watt hour mean? It means it can hold 500 watts for one hour, very similar to a kilowatt hour, which is 1000 watts for one hour, which is how electricity is measured. So think of this is half a kW an hour, uh, perhaps, but it's, um, it's 500 watts for an hour. So that's peak power draw for an hour. Like I said, my something like my CPAP, which is running 60, 70, 80 watts, uh, you know, I got eight hours on that. So what I'd really like to see is as I, as I plug a load in here, I'd love to see a, a time that says you have, you know, 10 hours remaining at this load or you have eight hours at this load. That way, um, that way I kind of have an idea. I'm not just looking at a battery level, seeing it go up or down. What I'm doing is I'm actually thinking about, you know, how long I'm gonna be plugging stuff in. Um, I did, I was able to take a fan outside and I just put this on a table and plugged the fan in. Uh, fantastic for that. Um, there's all kinds of uses for stuff like this. So I think, I think those are kind of the improvements I'd like to see, but overall it's a very sturdy unit. It's very solid performance. Uh, it's got a clean sine wave. It'll do your CPAP overnight. Uh, I did try it on some larger refrigerators and unfortunately it couldn't carry a full size refrigerator. Uh, when the compressor hit, it was just too much surge for the, the, the little unit at, seven, it, uh, at 750, um, which is kind of a bummer, but that is the, that is the, the limitations of this device. But 500 watts is a lot more than 300, a lot more than 200. Um, I would think for most people, there's, this is several, several things come to mind with this. Um, you could plug in a portable pro projector uh, and set up a, a screen while you're camping. You can plug in all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's just lots of power uh, in here. 500 watts for one hour is a huge power draw. Um, so I think, I think a lot of people are gonna get a lot of use out of this. I think it's just about the right size at the 500 uh, where you're starting to get uh, plenty of devices can be plugged in. They, again, they all can go simultaneously. Um, and so I think, I think a lot of people, this is gonna be a, a, good, a good pickup for a lot of people this summer because it's gonna really help them out with their portable power needs. Oh, just a couple ideas for improvement. Um, and again, it's clean power. So this is what you want when you plug into your electronics. So I also like the layout of the case, the gray and black with the red, it's flashy. Uh, a lot of the other units I saw on Amazon, they just didn't look cool at all. Uh, this one looks pretty cool. So um, again, it, it's, uh, I think it's, it's really well built and I'm very happy with it. It's nice and quiet and I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks again.